Hi, I'm Chris Fink. We're back here at O'Games headquarters to take you through some more of the features of John Daly's Pro Stroke Golf. With me today is Jim Scott from O'Games itself. He's going to take us through some of the exciting features of the game. Last time we went through a few of the bits and pieces of the game, like driving, drawing and fading the ball. And Jim today is going to go through the vital aspects of the short game, which is very, very important. So Jim, take it away. So I'm going to show you here first a full swing pitch. I've got about 126, 130 yards from the pin. I've got a pitching wedge selected. I'm going to go into pro stroke view. And you'll see here on the left hand side of the screen, you've actually got the swing meter. And at the top of the swing meter, you've got a full swing zone, just there. It's vitally important for this shot that you swing a nice full swing and a nice smooth swing to get close to the pin. As so. Wow. So why is the full swing zone important? And what happens if you swing below this? Well, in order to get full power, you have to swing into the full swing zone. If you swing less than that, say I swung 70%, by swinging down with a nice power, I can only achieve 70% power, which is obviously critical for getting those kind of three-quarter swings and those pitch shots that you need. At the moment, I'm kind of 97, 98 yards from the pin, and I've got a pitching wedge, which will probably carry me 120, 130 yards. I'm going to go into pro-stroke view here, and as you can see, I'm going to need around about 75, 76%. So unlike before, I just want to swing up about three quarters and then swing through to get really close to the pin. And hopefully that gets us nice and close. Very nice. That was a pitch shot. But obviously in golf there are different sort of shots you can play to the green. So can you explain to us the difference between a pitch and a chip shot? A pitch shot is normally a high shot with the, either a pitching wedge or a nine iron. It's a very high trajectory, but it stops very suddenly on the green, obviously sometimes backspins. A chip shot is normally played from around the green, from probably 30, 40 yards out, where you play a much shorter shot with only a sort of 25, 30% swing, and then you swing through, much like a forward defensive shot in cricket. Great, well let's see a chip shot in action, shall we? Okay, in this example here, as I explained, we're on the fringes of the green. We're 26 yards away from the pin. Um, I've selected a pitching wedge. Um, I could select a 9 iron or 8 iron. The lower club you go, the lower the trajectory of the ball is and the more the ball will run, will run on. I go into pro stroke view by pressing the move button. And as you'll see here on the screen on the left with the swing meter, the yellow zone is the chip zone. And obviously to do a chip, you must keep that power within that zone in order to do a chip shot. Anything over that, then it will assume that this is a pitch shot. So I kind of need about 25, 30%. So I'll just do a couple of practice shots. Press the button when I'm ready to go. Bring it back in the chip zone and push it through. So the hard work's done. It's on the green. Get the putter out, get it in the hole. In the example here, I'm nine foot from the pin. You can see the little white lines coming towards me are showing that the putt is an uphill putt. It's slightly breaking to the left. So I'm probably gonna slightly adjust to account for the break on the green. When I'm ready to take my shot, I press the button to go into the pro stroke view. I can look up at any time if I want to readjust. Once I'm ready to swing, I need about 85% power, but I've, I've got to take into consideration the slight uphill slope. So I'm going to swing back about 90 and then swing through. Ooh, that was dead on. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, thanks for that demonstration, Jim. As we've seen today, John Daly's Pro Stroke Golf is really impressive and it's going to change the face of golf games forever. It's available on PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, PC and it's available in the shops in October 2010.